Hello, welcome back to your future self. Last time, the uh, the people who keep hacking into our time bubble told us that this entire thing is like a creepy sadistic experiment by a woman who has time travel technology. They told us that if we try and make it make it very apparent that we're aware we're in a simulation, that she'll get frustrated and stop. Or at least tell us why. Right, let's just try and make things very obvious that we know what's happening. He's giving us this usual thing. He's definitely an AI created by her. Listen to me, everything you were told is an outright lie. I can't change what you did by convincing you your actions were wrong. I can't change my destiny. This is all some kind of twisted experiment. Ooh! That's good. Our, our points have now changed to her. That was not what I expected you to say. I need a second to process all this. Go ahead. I'm not concerned to talking to you, future self. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now, and assume you're not outright lying to me. But it'll take a lot more than that before I believe you. That's fine. I would expect me to be sceptical as well. Uh, empathy is the one he's most responsive to. I know how all this must sound. Just let me explain. I'm not sure what the point of the experiment is. But what I do know is that we've both been stuck in this loop arguing with each other for months. Yet nothing is changing in the external world. Yeah, that does beg the question of how long we've been in here. They say it's months, but we're not supposed to draw. Anyway. We're supposed to have our memories erased every time the loop resets, so we don't realise we're in a never-ending cycle. But for some reason, I'm now able to remember what happens. Again, I still find it questionable that it's only now that the groups managed to join in. We have no idea. I could have been in here, like, millennia. Okay, that's a lot to take in. Say I choose to believe that it's all true. Why don't I remember what happened in previous loops? Shouldn't I have also developed an immunity? Aren't we essentially the same person? I think you're a fake AI. I don't think you're real. I think you're made by her. Isn't it slightly suspicious that it's only happening to you? It almost seems like it might be part of this experiment. They could have engineered it this way. It could be a variable change, designed to gauge our responses to it. Exactly what I said, future self. You're on my wavelength. I don't think it's that. I was actually contacted by a rebel group from outside the loop who want to put an end to this whole thing. They filled me in on how the external world is faring in your time, and told me the truth about who is actually running this experiment. Again, we have no truth that the rebel group is telling the truth. We have no reason to believe them over the experiment. It could very feasibly be the same person that's running the experiment. I don't know why we automatically believe them. Just because they can alter our visual reality a bit? Before I spoke to them, my memories were just indecipherable fragments. Now, because of what they told me, I've been able to piece it all together. I remember everything. Well, consider this from my perspective. How would you respond if I told you that I'd been contacted by an unknown rebel group from outside the loop who told me the truth and made everything make sense all of a sudden? Doesn't that all sound very paranoid and conspiratorial? It doesn't sound like something a reasonable person would say. Are you sure you're of sound mind right now? Right, it doesn't matter what this guy thinks of me, all it matters is freaking out the person who's running the experiment, so I've got my little attention bar over there. We're doing good at the moment, let's assertive. 
Don't take that tone with me. You're no different. I've accused you of exactly the same thing during previous loops. Also, I have proof. I know about everything you did at the camp. More importantly, I also know about the secret you've been hiding. I wouldn't know any of this without if you hadn't already told me. Okay, okay, point taken. Go on. What did I do? What's my secret? Yes, our parents were killed by immigrants. Empathy, let's go. You killed thousands of people in a desperate bid to destroy a bioweapon the UN had been secretly developing in your climate refugee camp. I'm right, aren't I? You claimed you'd done the right thing, but then broke down and told me that your, well, our parents have been killed by climate refugees, and you harboured a secret resentment towards them that you'd been trying to suppress for years. That'll really rile her up. To show that I remember everything. You admitted your split-second decision to destroy the camp might have been driven by this deep-seated anger. My god, that's... that's... I'm so confused. How could you possibly know all this? It doesn't make sense. Oh, we're breaking again. Is she going to interfere soon? What is going on here? Who are you really? This isn't right. None of this is right. Come on, lady. Go, go intervene here. You know that we're both onto you now. What did you say at the start of this conversation? I'm just as you remember. The only way I could be as you remember is if I am the person you remember. Right now, the only difference between us, apart from age, is that I know what's going on here. I have no incentive to lie to you. What would I gain from it? Well, it could be part of the experiment if this is actually my person from the future. It could just be a different part of the experiment. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't believe me either. I don't know what you've gained from it, but I still don't understand why you're telling me. If you speak the truth, and if you are who you say you are, what more can I say? You already know everything I did. This whole conversation seems a bit pointless. we got to start directly talking to the researcher. That's the only way to sort of Make her talk to us. Are you gloating? I get it. You didn't kill all those people. You didn't spend your adult life with an all-consuming resentment towards the people you were trying to help. You're not a monster like me. You might grow up to be a decent, fully functional human being. Ah no, look, you don't understand. I had to explain all that to get to the next part of my plan. I'm sorry for accepting you, but there was no other choice. And no, there isn't anything more you can tell me. I'm trying to get the attention of the people running this loop. They're using stolen time travel tech for some strange purpose. And I want to speak to their leader to figure out what they're doing. Okay, that's bold. She can't ignore me after that. Still not 100% sure that's the real story, but we'll work on it. I want to know what they hope to achieve by forcing us to have this conversation over and over. It just seems pointless and cruel. They're using stolen UN time travel tech. How is that even possible? I knew the banned time travel tech would come back to haunt us sooner or later. But I figured it would be because some government didn't actually surrender all their tech to the UN and hid it away somewhere to use themselves. I didn't think anyone would actually be able to steal it. It must have been locked away in a veritable fortress, and guarded mercilessly. This doesn't make any sense. I agree with you fully. I'm still... I'm still not Team Rebel. I'm thinking about it. Hell. Not hell. Well, the time travel tech was only stolen because of your actions. 
Following the incident, the UN all but collapsed and couldn't protect the tech any longer. It was stolen by the group who are running this loop. Okay, I have the uh, I have the timeline off then. This is fully implying that. Okay, so if we believe the rebels, my future self is actually my future self. Which. No one understands why they're doing this. But it seems they're squandering the most important technological development in the world. On a pointless experiment. To be fair, you can probably do more things with time travel than just one specific time bubble. I would imagine they could do like several of these at once, at least. So, you've been breaking me down repeatedly, yet nothing ever changes. It feels like whoever is running this loop is de deliberately engineering our misery. Ooh, I wonder if this is a, uh, like in Monsters Inc, where their energy comes from children's screams. In the future, is energy powered by people's misery? They must take some sick pleasure in helping in hearing me confess and break down. It must be someone who I harmed with my actions. Oh, that does make sense. I'm pretty sure the scientist UN leader is someone who used to work for the UN. Oh, what if it's Anne, the, uh, the woman that this guy betrayed? They are both women. And that would make sense with all the story. Oh god, this is all my fault. Perhaps I deserve this. Perhaps I deserve to be miserable. Perhaps the people running this loop are right. Oh, they aren't right. You can't even tell. I destroyed the UN. I may have even destroyed the world. I'm a monster. I don't deserve to be free. Well, that was an unconventional approach, but it works. You did it again. Your future self was well and truly dejected at the end. Well done. I hate this. Will you actually have a dialogue with me? I suppose there's no point keeping up the pretense that I'm freeing you from the loop now, is there? Well, no, but come on. But nothing. This is an experiment. And we will stick to experimental protocol. We're setting the loop in 3, 2, 1. Surely this renders your experiments useless then. Because I know, and that should be a variable you didn't plan for. In case, of course, you are the rebel group and you did plan for it. We know how frustrating this must be for you. It's hard to stay focused when you're repeating the same things over and over. You're doing a great job though. Keep it up. Just stay the course and you'll get there. We believe in you. I really hope they're trying to maybe use me as a distraction or something. I can't change my so my so-called destiny. This is actually an experiment, the goal of which is currently unclear. Okay, that was unexpected. I need a second to process all this. Yeah, this is just looping quickly. Look, it's getting tiring for us too. You think you've experienced this over and over again? But it's nothing compared to the amount of time we've had to sit through it. I don't trust you rebels. Why are you like trying to talk to me? Why aren't you like actually trying to destroy it instead of just breaking my conversation up to have chats with me? At least you've only recently started to remember. We've been observing this loop for a long, long time. How long? Please give me a date. 
Sorry, that came off really badly. I didn't mean to sound rude. You're doing a great job. Carry on. You know what? I think this is going to be Anne. I don't think they would have mentioned a named character. That's the only named character we have so far. So, I think she's definitely got to be involved somehow. She might potentially be the rebel group, but I think that's less likely. Oh, guys are back. Oh, come on. Keep yourself together. The more you complain about it, the harder it'll be to convince your future self. Why am I still trying to convince my future self? If they think you sound like a conspiracy theorist, change your story. You don't have to tell them the literal truth. You just want to get the attention of the people running this thing. That's it. The truth is irrelevant. Yeah, I don't... I don't know why I'm trying to convince him, because we know that convincing doesn't work. If we want to get the attention of the people running the experiment, surely it would be best to just refuse to speak. Or just speak directly to the experimenters. Force their experiment to fail, and then... They'll probably grow bored of us. This is convincing me more, more that this rebel group is not real. Wait, so you want me to lie? You're happy with me lying as long as you get what you want? Is that it? I... no. Again, I'm sorry for sounding impatient. It's been a really long project for us, and we really do appreciate what you're doing. We want the same thing as you. We want this experiment stopped. Just keep doing what you're doing. It'll eventually work. We'll wait as long as we need to. Okay, gotta lie to this guy. Okay, I appear to not be lying to this guy. Even though I literally just promised the re rebels that I would. Okay, I think this is new dialogue. Well, there's something you should know. According to the group who contacted me, there were some consequences to your actions in the camp. With no way to solve the climate refugee crisis, the UN was overwhelmed. International tensions grew, cooperation broke down. It all but collapsed. Because of that, it couldn't protect the banned time travel technology from being acquired. Various groups were planning attempts to stealing the tech to use for their own purposes. But the group that succeeded have apparently decided to trap us in this loop. No one understands what their goals are. Oh, it's definitely Anne. The general consensus seems to be that they're squandering the tech on a fool's errand. It's Anne. She's punishing me because I backstabbed her. Of course it is. Who else would it be? It's got to be someone with a personal hate for us. Oh, he's close to giving in. There we are. There we are. You're saying the same thing, which is annoying. Say something different. Urgh. Come on, please don't reset. We want to apologise profusely for the impatience we showed during the previous loop. It fell far below our standards of professionalism and won't happen again. The person who spoke to you, well, they've been removed. Okay, why do you guys sound like weird creepy scientists as well? We would also like to reiterate that we fully empathise with how difficult this can be. The repetition can be mind-numbing at times. 
It's all for the greater good though. Keep at it. And we'll finally be able to stop this experiment once and for all. I don't believe that at all. Right, I think if I get all successes on here, maybe the experimenter will be forced to talk to me. Okay, good. Continue. Okay, I've decided to lie to this guy. Hold on, hold on. Sorry to interrupt this, it's the same thing over again. I just realised something. My future self stats have been going up. And the only reason my scat stats go up is because I remember what happens in the loop. And I gain experience and it carries over. Therefore, my future self must also be remembering what happened in the previous loops. Maybe not as much as me, but he must be remembering something. Otherwise he wouldn't have improved his stats. Why would he lie to me though? I might go back to Team AI. This is the end of the loop, we've had nothing but successes. We should be getting some attention from the lady now. Come on, I know, I know you feel depressed. Tell me you regret your actions and I can talk to the researcher. Okay, fine. You have my attention. I assume those meddling pricks finally managed to speak to you without us noticing. Amazing work, keep it up. You need to be as convincing as you can to keep her attention. Say the wrong thing and she might reset the loop. Okay, okay, gotta be still. Try and get her to tell you why she's doing all this. While she's distracted, we'll move in on her location. Good luck. Fair play to them, I guess. They must have put some serious effort into improving their detection avoidance tech. They're worthy, if annoying, rivals. Ooh. Let's have a look at her stats. I have her on assertiveness, but nothing else. Oh no, I have her on rationality as well. Right, I'm gonna go, gonna go rational. That's correct, they told me everything. Well, that's not quite true. They neglected to give me one important piece of information. Your name. Is it Anne? You haven't been able to figure it out yourself. Disappointing. It's Anne. Please let me say it's Anne. I'll give you a clue. I'm the only person your future self ever mentioned by name. Of course. Classic. Chekhov's gun and all that. Hello, Anne? In every single rendition of the story, which I have listened to hundreds of times, they only ever name me. No colleagues, no parents, no close friends. Just me. I assumed you'd have guessed by now. Oh, I have am. Assert? Let's assert with her. Right, you're Alice, aren't you? Okay, I meant Alice, but I was still right. Yes. Although I'm disappointed I had to give you such a large clue before you figured it out. Don't patronise me, I knew you were Alice for a good three or four loops ago. I assume you have a lot of questions, yes? Um, oh, they're all equal. I'll go rational again. I have many, but the most pressing is, why are you doing all this? Why trap me and my future self in this loop, and have me persuade them that they were wrong over and over again? What are you hoping to achieve? What do you mean? It's already been thoroughly explained. You, you want me to convince my future self that I was wrong to have done it? 
and is this because you need some sort of closure from my future version? Because my future self never apologised to me. To, to you, sorry. You want them to apologise to me over and over again. Your future self committed a terrible crime. And through convincing them they were wrong, I hope to change your path and prevent those actions from ever happening. Mm, I don't think so. This has been explained to you many, many times. Why ask again? Right. Assertiveness, I should have this over on her. I'm no scientist, but aren't your goals logically impossible? You can't change the future in the way you think you can. You've used a version of my future self to, come on, back Brad, to change my own future, which would prevent that version of my future self from existing in the first place. It's a paradox. At least, that's what your rivals seem to think. No, you're not a scientist. You have no way of understanding what I'm trying to achieve. I spoke with many of the other factions before I isolated myself with my team. None of them had any issues with the direction of my research. They could have been lying to me, of course, but I suppose I'll never know. You could be lying to me too, for all I know. I don't even know why I'm bothering having this conversation, to be honest. Please don't leave. Please keep talking. Empathy. I've got a good chance for empathy. Why would I bother lying? You can just reset the loop if you discover that's the case. You have all the power here. Just listen to me for a minute. Your behaviour supports my theory. You claim this is a legitimate experiment. But at no point have you let me or my future self leave the loop. I've been in here for months, repeating the same thing over and over. If you want to actually test the technology, surely you'd need to see how it affects the world outside this bubble when we leave. You have to admit, it really sounds like a convenient ex excuse to trap both me and my future self and make us miserable. It sounds like you're just trying to punish us for something my future self did to you under the pretense of running a bizarre experiment. I understand why it might seem that way, but you have it all wrong. Do I, Alice? You haven't been released from the loop yet, because we're still in the testing phase. We're discerning whether there is any side effects from long-term exposure to the technology. Yeah. What would be the purpose of making me loop, then? If you, you could just keep me in here, surely without making the loop reset. The fact that you are now able to remember what happened in previous loops is valuable insight into the limits of the tech. All of this needed to happen before we could test any timeline changes. If you had any real information about the experiment, you would, ex you would understand. Give me more real information about the experiment. I'm not part of your scientific team, but that doesn't mean my concern should be so easily dismissed. I've been part of this experiment for months. Assuming you ever intend to use this technology for its stated purpose, surely you wouldn't keep anyone in the loop for even close to this length of time. There would be no use in doing so, you would achieve your desired results long before reaching this point. Unless we're to assume the first time I was playing this loop was the first time I've convinced him. But that seems unlikely if it's been months. So why would you subject me to such an extensive length of time in a loop? This isn't about you, I... I'm just being a responsible scientist. This technology is volatile and untested, therefore its limits need to be fully explored before wider use is considered. This is just science. 
There's no hidden agenda. I'm just doing my job. Well, this isn't your job because you stole this. No, I don't believe you. You know the truth. You're just unwilling to accept it. My future self destroyed your life. My future self killed thousands of people. My future safe may even have inadvertently destroyed the most important organisation in the world. Once you discovered the time travel tech was no longer safeguarded, you saw an opportunity to exact revenge. You can dress it up as a legitimate experiment all you like, but you must know that this isn't your true goal here. God damn it, no, you still have no idea what you're talking about. Look, I guess you're partially right. I'm angry with your future self. I admit that much. They acted rashly and the ramifications of their actions have been felt across the world. But this really isn't the reason I picked you as a subject. And I'm not trying to punish you. Seems weird. That's... Yeah, actually, I picked you because there are a very limited number of cases resulting in such sweeping negative consequences that can be traced back to a single instantaneous decision. Okay, that, that does make sense. This seems very much like a once in a lifetime kind of criminal type thing. The aim of this experiment has has been to see whether it's possible to alter your motivation successfully in order to nudge you in the opposite direction in that split second. It might not make the world any better. Who knows what would have happened with the casual chains being as complex as they are. I still wanted to try. What else is there to do at this point? All we can do is try. I'm not a psychopath gleefully celebrating every time you convince your future self that they were wrong. I might have taken some satisfaction at the end of a successful loop, but that's only because you succeeded. You know, weirdly I am starting to trust this researcher a little bit. As a scientist, testing new technology is always a good thing. It has nothing to do with gaining joy from misery. And remember one thing. I was complicit in your future self's actions. I knew what I was doing when I gave them access. I knew the risks. I didn't expect them to destroy the camp, but I knew something could have happened as a result. I accepted that from the moment I got involved. I don't know where you got the idea that I'm a bitter woman lying to everyone in order to exact my revenge, but you're dead wrong. Oh, I am kind of weirdly on your side now, I think. But surely you've got to let me out of the loop anyway, because... Now that I know what you're doing, there's no point in having me here. You know, I'm starting to believe you. It sounds like you genuinely think your experiment could work. And I'm starting to understand why you would pick me and my future self as test subjects. It sounds like you have the backing of other factions too. I'm confused. If this is all true, why did the other group contact me and tell me they had no idea what you were doing? Why would they deliberately lie to me? I'm starting to feel like I might have been used. I don't understand. The only thing I kept hidden from them was my location. And that was only for security purposes. I told them everything else. I knew I didn't trust that rebel group. They just want the tech for themselves. They knew my motivations, my methods, my hypotheses. I was completely open and honest. Everything seemed fine when I last spoke to them. The environment was competitive and tense, sure, but I felt like we all reached a unanimous understanding. 
Did they lie to me? Have they been planning something this whole time? I think so. Are they going to conveniently shut down this simulation? Oh yeah, you've been stormed, haven't you, Alice? No, no, no. I know what they've been doing. Oh my god, how could you have not seen this? I've been so focused on my research that there's no way I could have seen it coming. Spill it! I don't believe it. They've used you against me. I never thought they'd stoop to something so low, but I guess I was wrong. You've doomed us. We're all dead. I'm actually impressed you managed to keep her distracted for that long. I can't stand you guys. Pains in the neck. You performed brilliantly. Far better than expected. You're not going to release me from this time loop, are you? Thanks to you, we were able to infiltrate her location and take out her entire team. Now we finally have our hands on the time travel tech again. You, you killed everyone evil. It was necessary. It had to be done. Are we doing over this again? Killed some people to save longer people? We were out of options. We weren't going to let her keep the tech all to herself for her ridiculously idealistic goals. What are you going to do with the tech then? What are your so good goals? She was being childish and naive. It never would have worked. Why not tell me your true plans? Why lie to me? Well, would I have gone on to it if they just straight up said we want to steal this person's tech and also we'll let you out of the time loop? Mm. No, that could have that could have led to me sympathising with her too much. I get why you lied to me. I would have thought that was obvious. You would never have helped us, would you? I would have if you offered getting out of this loop. We told you what you needed to hear, so you would do what we required from you. It's pretty simple, really. Monsters, indeed. Oh, please. You come from a peaceful time with plentiful resources. You have no idea what the world is like now. It's so much worse than you can imagine. Much of the planet is unlivable. Most governments have collapsed. Billions have died, and billions more are on the verge of death. You call us monsters. But if you could see this world, then you'd learn very quickly that we're no different from anyone else. We do what we need to do to survive, and this time travel tech is the best hope we have of survival. Yeah, what are you planning to do? We're not planning on changing the past, that's for sure. It's a dead end. This world is ruined and it will always end up ruined. There's no changing that. Okay, I I fail to see why you would want time travel tech if not to change the past. We're all going to use the tech to travel back into a more comfortable and prosperous time period, where we can live out our lives in peace and safety. Okay, well, you're arguably doing worse than her then, because you're being very selfish. If humanity insists on destroying this world, then to hell with humanity. I don't think everyone's trying to destroy the world. It's mostly, you know, oil companies who care about their profits more than the ocean and stuff. Exactly, you selfish pricks. You stole the t tech and killed Alice and her team just so you could have an easy life? Even if you didn't think her experiment would work, you didn't have to destroy it and kill her. You didn't even give her a chance. You've changed your tune. Only a few minutes ago you were arguing with Alice. Trying to convince her that her experiment was nonsense. I didn't know what her experiment was. That's because you lied and manipulated me. 
Oh my god, I feel sick. On the plus side, you won't have to feel sick for much longer. You're going to loop me again, aren't you? Sorry, but it would take us too long to figure out how to safely remove you and your future self from this bubble. Everyone who would know how to do that is dead. Well, I feel like you could have at least held one hostage to help me. So, we're just turning the whole thing off. If it causes damage to the timeline, well, fuck the timeline. We're travelling back to the past anyway. To hell with all of this. Thanks again for helping us. And we're shut down. We just cease to exist, I guess. Alright. Weird. Weird game. I really liked it. I, uh, I was only expecting to play this for, like, maybe 40 minutes, but... I sat down and then I couldn't stand up for, like, two hours. So, I'm very impressed. Good game. It freaked me right out. Very confusing. I'm kind of sad that none of my, uh... None of my guesses were particularly good, but, you know. It is what it is, I suppose. Anyway, thank you for watching.